Hey everybody, it's Michael Dougal, your reliable resource for real estate here in the greater Toronto area. And during this video, I'm going to answer the question of how will a vaccine help our real estate market? Let's first look at how the market has been affected during this pandemic. And there's two things that we'll look at. We'll look at the number of sales as well as the average price. First things first, let's take a look at the number of sales here. This graph shows the number of sales that have taken place within roughly the past couple of years. And you can see based on this red line that the sales significantly dropped as expected back in March and now they've shot back upwards and we can see here the number of sales is somewhere around 10,000 to 11,000 sales per month and here's where things get a little bit interesting because we can see that prices really only dropped for about a month from March to April and then afterwards the prices did increase however it really seemed to significantly increase with the detached market as you can see here based on this line at the top but if we look at the condo market you can see it was somewhat stable and without question, the average price is less than what it was pre-pandemic if we look at March. So the question is, why are detached homes rising in value, whereas our condo market isn't? So what this information tells us is that throughout COVID, the condo market hasn't been good, whereas the housing market and freehold properties has been exceptional. So here's the really exciting news. It's November 30th, 2020 today, and this article just got released by Financial Post saying that Canada could be among the first to clear Moderna's vaccine for use even before the United States. And this article here that was also released today shows that the vaccine actually had a 94.1% likelihood of it being affected. In case you wanna read a little bit further into those articles, I'm going to link in the video description box below the URLs as well as timestamps for this specific video. If you do get some sort of value from this video, then do help me out and click that subscribe button and give the video a like. And of course, I'm looking for buyers and sellers. If you're considering buying or selling here in the greater Toronto area, then call me, call me, call me. It's Michael Dougal. My number is 416-671-5218. So these are very exciting times. The US has a new president. We're on the brink of perhaps finding a vaccine, but how is all this affecting our real estate market? And really based on all the data, it seems that if anything, it would help the condo market. However, our freehold properties who are detached, semi-detached and townhomes, they're very unlikely to be affected because the number of sales is still very high. There's still a shortage of inventory and interest rates are awfully low. So overall consumer confidence is high and people are going out there to buy. But really we have to look at what's affecting our condo market right now, why are prices down, and why are some of these condo units taking so long to sell? Because if we look here, this D graph here shows the percentage of total sales within different styles of homes. And we can see based on the orange that the percentage of condo sales was significantly higher pre-pandemic. However, now if we look at October 2020, the segment of the detached market is taking about 50% of total sales, whereas our condos are much less. And look at the condo market downtown. It's not even 10% of our total sales. So what we're seeing here is less interest in condos. That could be for a number of reasons. A lot of people are starting to accept the fact that they're going to work from home. So perhaps they're appreciating their space a little bit more. And condominiums in general for most people are a little bit less appealing. A lot of the amenities in the buildings like indoor pools or exercise rooms have been closed. And of course, it's very difficult to social distance or walk into elevators. And here's what's neat is that this is not only Toronto. We're also seeing the same thing in New York. This neat article here by CNN basically said the condo market is down. However, all other styles of properties are selling very fast and for very strong prices. Cities like Toronto, New York, and San Francisco, they've never seen higher vacancy rates and the rental market is down. People are renting out their units for a lot less than what they were pre-COVID. So this could as well be one of the contributing factors to lower prices overall. However, though, this could be changed like a light switch with the help of a vaccine. The condo market could surge upwards as a lot of big companies start to have employees working in-house again. A really important question that we have to acknowledge is will the interest rates rise? Because right now we're experiencing record low mortgage rates from the Bank of Canada and a lot of buyers are going out and taking advantage of this. Here's a really neat graph which shows the percentage of average price growth from March to October 2020. And like I mentioned, what we saw with the detached market, prices went up by 8.7%. The condo market downtown decreased by 5.6%. 
And if we look at all condos across the GTA, so this includes Durham, this includes Peel and York region, we can see that the average price drops quite significantly by 12.1%. There's a lot of positive news out there. Right now, our current unemployment rate is 8.9%, which is awfully high, but it's much better compared to what it was back in May or June of 2020, where we were almost at 14%. So provided that we go in this direction, along with this vaccine, I can't think of any reason why the prices would not be going up. Stats Canada predicts that over the next few years, we should have on average 327,000 people coming into Canada every single year. And even on the higher side, they're looking at 400,000 as our restrictions get lifted. And something we know from the past is that a good proportion of these people will be coming directly into Toronto due to all of the jobs that we have available in comparison to other cities in Canada. I hope you all found this information helpful. Do share the video with someone else you know that may find the information helpful. I'm looking for homes to sell. If you know anyone looking to buy or sell, then do call me. My number is 416-671-5218. As well to all my real estate agent friends, I've recently switched companies over to eXp where you can sell homes and build passive income. So if you want to know more about that, then do call me, call me, call me. My number is 416-671-5218. And I will look forward to seeing you all next time.